Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. In this one we're going to be reacting to a new show, or rather um, an old show, but we're watching it for the first time. Uh, it's The Pacific, um, uh, episode one, part one, called Guadalcanal forward slash Lecky. Um, we're doing this just after reacting to Band of Brothers. Uh, we yeah. know it's not the same kind of show uh, in terms of the the. It doesn't follow. I don't think it follows a band of brothers. Or like it doesn't. Follow like it doesn't company. follow an entire company. I think it follows just three men, and it's set obviously, hence the name uh, Pacific, the Pacific um, uh, campaign in World War Two, um, and I've read through some of the not uh, reviews but spoiler free and a lot of people have said that the similarities are that you see the troubled times the men go through but where it differs is it's um you probably see more of the traumatic stuff in band of brothers but more of, but also the the uplifting stuff as well whilst in the okay. pacific it may not be as much but also it's more actiony as well at the same time um i'm we it may be totally wrong and we find that this is just an absolutely epic epic show um but that's all we have to go on in, in terms of of this show um if you're joining us from uh band of brothers and welcome uh hopefully you enjoy our reactions to this and if this is the first time you're watching us uh hope you enjoy our reactions but other than that um Let's see what happens in this one, episode one or part one, Guadalcanal forward slash Lecky. Let's check it out. Okay, all the way back to 1941. I know this actor. I can't remember where I've seen him he's from. He's been though. in, um, I'm just trying to think what he's been in. Let us know in the comments where we've seen him. Where he's from, yeah. Yeah, why yeah, well, would I ask where we've seen him? Yeah. Bob Leckie. I'm your neighbor from across the street. Okay. So this must be based on him, Bob Leckie. This episode, I mean. I joined the Marines. Thought I'd do my bit. Well, if I don't see you before you go, take care of yourself. Maybe I'll write you. All right. <laughs> she didn't seem that like, okay, do whatever you want kind of thing. Did I miss anything? The movie hasn't started yet. Yeah, it's John Bernthal. Um, I remember him from Die Hard too. Yeah, he was. Yeah. December seventh was quite a day. Pearl Harbor. December eighth, Guam, Wake, Malay Peninsula, were also attacked by the Army, Air Force, and Navy of the Empire of Japan. Wow, they did a lot on that day. Here is what the Japs are not expecting: the United States Marine Corps. Marines will do battle with the Japs on tiny specks of turf that we have never heard of. You, the NCOs, with the chevrons on your sleeves and the instincts in your gut and the blood on your boots. It's a nice bit of motivation. Report back here, ready to sail across God's vast ocean, where we will meet our enemy and kill them all. It's crazy seeing that map behind him and yeah of the the, yeah. Of where they've taken over and, and what yeah. yeah where they need to fight where the battles need to be fought i didn't realize that japan hit those other locations yeah on the in same one day in up. one day yeah yeah your wife is so beautiful i wish my sons could marry someone this beautiful uh. <laughs> that's deep <laughs> jp morgan Manny Rodriguez, welcome to our home. We're happy you could join us tonight. Soon, two of my brothers are leaving to serve their country. When all this is over, let's say a, a year from tonight, we'll sit down at this table again for a welcome home feast. Just get the job done. And come home to us. That's a lovely speech. About everyone. About everyone. It's so hard. Must be so hard, actually. Letting them go. No, letting them go, yeah. yeah. Just because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, bless. Well, I hope he makes it back. Marines will outfit me with everything from bayonets to socks. I just 
Wish I could have brought my typewriter. So why well, you need that? Yeah, why would you need? I think you're gonna be able to use your typewriter. Fight by day, a lot. by night, Dad. The naivety. Not bothered. The yeah, na no, but the naivety of fight by day and write by night. Yeah. Your mother said I was a fool not to buy a Ford, which is not right. He's either evading the fact that he has to say goodbye, or he's to his son. Yeah. It's a tough moment, isn't it? You're... Oh yeah. Dad, I gotta go. Goodbye, son. That's got to be hard. Is, what do you say in that moment? I have no idea. Eugene, I'm, I'm sorry. What, what, what? what illness has he got? Or yeah. What's wrong with him? Mama's still there. It was a heart murmur. Yeah. 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 The boy is disappointed, Mary Frank. I'm his mother. Meaning? Oh, damn, I feel for you, mate. That's rough news. It's either that she's upset that something will happen to him and she might lose him even though he's at home, or she just... Maybe that's all he wanted to do, and she's disappointed for him. That he... Does his murmur prevent him from going? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we. Sh I'm pretty sure we saw him in the credits, the intro credits. Yeah. With a helmet, so. He might run off and just join anyway. Could be. But I, I thought I thought they need a medical in the beginning. You're 18, Eugene. You don't need your father's permission. You can't go against him, Sid. Ah. Okay. Okay. He can go regardless. I wish we were going together. Yeah, well, you take care of yourself, Greaser. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. Solomon Islands. Ah, okay. Title there you go. Guadalcanal. Today's the night! Keep it moving. Don't wait for a scene. A lot of Marines to feed. Move, move, move. Police it up. That's crazy. You're trying to eat with uh, all the firepower I was say, yeah, with this going around the battle going behind you. It's crazy. I just want to help this goddamn rust bucket. I can't hear myself think. Yeah, well, yeah it must be. Yeah, like the electric chair. It must be rough being on this for so long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm planning to take out an entire Jack regiment all by myself. <laughs> okay, let's see how that goes. Line them up, boom down. Real turkey shoot. I got a feeling it's gonna be a little more complicated than that. Without a sign, his sword, the brave man draws. And that's no omen, but his country's cause. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, Doctor! The treacherous bastards may have started this war, but I promise you, we will finish it! Yeah! Hit the beach! Keep moving to your rendezvous points of primary objectives! When you see the Japs, kill them all! Yeah. It's really a case of just, as soon as you land, punch through. Essentially, yeah. right? It's just punch like, through. Like how it was on D-Day, you just gotta just... Yeah, just... I'm assuming there'll be quite a few losses as well, and then... Oh my oh, god, the look at that. The credits is of them going down. I was like, I thought that was like a training op, you know, when you see, when you see them. Yeah, that's actually them climbing into the boats. No training montage on this, it's straight to it. It's mad as well because you, if you're in the boat, you can't see what's in front of you because that first bit is you so You just gotta wait for, you just gotta wait for it to drop and then you... drop, yeah. 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 Then that is your view. Ooh. And then whoever's like seasick as well, they're probably chucking yeah, up. Yeah, they throw up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the opening part of Saving Private Ryan where they just, the anxiety and everything is just. Okay, there wasn't, uh, there's not, there's no firepower there's no against the them. Yeah. yeah.
but but don't stop. Just keep them moving, though, right? How? Oh wow, it's completely different to what we expected. Yeah. So they've already taken the beach. Yeah. That's what it is. Makes sense. Okay. Or that specific beach. Well, Lucky's had a okay start so far. Hey. Now what do I do? The islanders use a machete <laughs> or a rock. Try using your head, Shuffler. It's big and rock-like. <laughs> Don't use your head, mate. Excuse me. That was hand on a coconut. Intelligence has it the Japs move back into the jungle. Clean the sand out of your weapons. We move in three minutes. Oh, that's going to be so dangerous. You know, also, I didn't take into account the humidity. Oh, yeah. And obviously the heat. Okay, stay alert. They're literally just scattered. Too quiet, isn't it? Mm. What's Lucky carrying? It's a uh, LMG. Okay. Yeah, this is this is. There could be a like. Anywhere in the yeah. trees, underground. <laughs> and nature's making a lot of noise as well at the same time. So quiet. It's literally just so quiet. What the hell is that? Oh. They... His head's gone. His decapitated, private, yeah. Privates are gone as well. Is it like a warning sign? Oh, it, was, it must be like a just scare them or whatever. But... Don't know. It's messed up. Bit of a weird first day. Yeah, you just expect it to be like guns blazing, but actually, it's just it move, seems more moving. Yeah, settle. Yeah, yeah. What can he see? Can't make out anything. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh someone said. What happened there? Did they shoot their own medic? I went to take a piss. Somebody oh, he went to take a piss. They thought it was someone in the shop. That is. That is messed up. Wow. Everyone's on edge. Guess we took the airfield. Well, let's go home. <laughs> let's assume the Japs are watching right now, preparing to come at us. Assume? They are. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Can you imagine being on one of those ships? Looks like the 4th of July. That looks crazy, doesn't it? Nocturna blowing the whole Jap fleet to the bottom of the channel. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of like watching Battleship live, I think, because it's you're obviously just looking at it and you're just seeing. The Navy, gone. What? Four cruisers. Turner took everyone left and headed for open sea. Oh, wow. Wow. She went down with half the battalion's ammo, most of our grub and medical supplies, and a our ass wife. So this this is like a stronghold point now. Well, it has to be. There's no yeah, one else. No choice. Yeah. Hey, Philip. Want some? It's Jeff Wine left behind. Can't fight him drunk. Don't fight him at all. That's that's not that's not a saying, yeah, is that's it? Not, yeah. <laughs> Oh, easy, easy, easy. There's thousands of them. Like the whole damn Japanese empire. Wow. Coconut plantation off the cove about it. 10 miles up. Probably headed there. Look at that. Almost feels like these guys are trapped a little bit. 
It feels like that, doesn't it? It's like a they've got no supplies or so half their ammo's gone. Alligator Creek doesn't sound promising. Yeah, I don't want to go anywhere that says Alligator Creek. Yeah, they've got nothing. They've got no backup, no supplies. What does that do? What do they plug in at the bottom? I don't understand. No idea. Destroy any letters you have with any date or addresses. Why would that matter? Maybe they're not going to been there. They're not going to go there. What? Oh, but why would addresses matter? Oh shit! 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 He's just spraying fire at this moment. He's just spraying. Because yeah, you can't see them. You yeah. can't see anything. You can see the muzzle flash, if anything. Ooh. That was close. That Ooh. was not close. Oh, my God. I don't even know what happened to him. Flare. Yeah. What happened? Is he... Oh, he's freaking out. Freaking out. Damn it! He's lost it. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, that's messed up. I'm surprised trees aren't coming down at this stage. Do you know what I mean? I suppose they're not really. Apart from the mortars, there's no grenades. It's not like um, Baston where they're just firing artillery at them. Yeah, true. Oh, there you go. There's the tree fell down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just as I said that. Move, 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 move. That machine gun must be so hot, though. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, actually a really good point. I know he's holding it with, like, a cloth, but still, that must be... Oh, man. I'm assuming they've... Oh wow. my god. Is that how many people they killed overnight? Yeah. Ammo resupplies at the collection point. Smitty, resupply down the line. They just kept on coming. A real turkey shoot. That is what he said. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh. Uh, they did fight to the death, didn't they? That is so messed up. Yeah. They're generally aiming for him like that? No, so they're slow. just they're messing around with him. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Now it's a rough start for Lecky. Jameson's been relieved. I'm not surprised. I better get started on the letters to the families. The cigarettes are sticking up, isn't it? Yeah, it smells bad. Dead bodies oh. all around you is going to smell. Fine. Fine. I didn't think of that. Don't worry. They're not lit cigarettes. He's part of them. No, I was going to say, like... Yes, ma'am. I am a corporal. Oh, look at that promotion. What's that? For the family. Oh, damn. Well, that's that's when it must hit you the hardest because you've just killed someone and obviously they have you know they've got a family as well but yeah you when you see mementos that's just, that probably, that just that'll cut deep yeah 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 that's when the empathy kicks in dear vera it seems a lifetime since we met outside saint mary's the jungle holds both beauty and terror in its depths most terrible of which is man wow 
There are things men can do to one another that are sobering to the soul. It is one thing to reconcile these things with God, but another to square it with yourself. Ooh. How long have you been sitting on this one? A week. I wanted to get it really right for you. Next time, don't let it wait so long. Finally, yeah, I'll get infected. Yeah, wouldn't you get like gangrene or something? Hey, you guys forget to set the alarm? Yeah, where you been? Up with the son of Samoa. Screwing your girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you in? Tokyo! Care to join us? I don't know, it's a whiz, sir. Ride us when you get there. The real Marines are here now, and I've been here for some time. Yeah! You seen those guys? They look like they've been oh right, that's clever. So they're part of the other the other uh, division. It must be a slight sense of relief to see other people, like more of your the people that you know come. This one, this one here is from a buddy of mine back in Mobile. Truth is, you're the lucky one, Sid. You'll never have that nagging thought that you let your family, your friends, and your country down, because that's what I'm afraid of. Let's 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 start. You're a better man than I am, Gunga Bin. Your humble and obedient servant, Eugene Slivage. That's the guy who couldn't make it, right? That's the guy who told mm -hmm. him he's got a murmur. Yeah. Eugene. Hey, when's your birthday, Sid? It's a couple of weeks ago. How old are you? 18. 18? God. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy Damn, they're kids, man. Dear Happy birthday to you. I've had this thing right after he gave him a grenade for his birthday. <laughs> it's insane how young they were back then. And that's the end of the episode. Um, thoughts? It's such, such a really good episode. It it's it started off slow, as in in terms of where we thought the action would just come in and kick in, kind of thing. It it wasn't like that. I think that kind of took us took us back by surprise, but I think it is more. That was more of a psychological. It seems like more of a psychological warfare in terms of the, like I said, the, the environment's completely different to to Europe. The... Yeah, because in even in Europe, you would um, not counting um, like where they had to dig like uh, the foxholes in in winter and stuff. Um, that was Bastogne, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they would be occupying houses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah. have like warmth uh, in cold, or they'd have food and they'd have a place to sit. And this is outside in yeah. the jungle. It's, it's like the open, yes, yeah, open land. It could be in trees, it could be on the ground, it could be, like I said, they were just across the riverbank and they just, just, that, that, they got absolutely slaughtered. From that, whatever yeah. messed up thing is out in, in nature to diseases, to um, not knowing where the enemy is, you know what I mean? I think also what's interesting is the pattern of, oh, we're going to just go there and win the war. Yeah. Like they had that in the other one, they had that in this one, but then it's like when you, when you actually get there and you see what is going on or, you know, things like that guy taking a piss in the middle of the night and everyone's shooting at him. It's things like that, like that does they then they're not gonna prepare you for that, you know. Um Yeah, that was so messed yeah, up. Because you oh, I did, it's such bad luck as well, because they were asked like, did he know the password or did he say the password? And I think yeah. I don't know if that was just like the jitters from where the, when they were first there, the anxiety and it's dark, there's no light, and they're in the trees and you don't know where they are, and all of a sudden you see a silhouette. Yeah. That's just so much such bad luck, that one. Some yeah, don't worry about it. Every time you move. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna move back like that. But yeah, it's 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 completely different. Like I said, the, the environment is completely there's there's loads of other things that come into to to play here compared to Europe. But even just little things like when they were playing around with that Japanese soldier and then he just Yeah, that was mad. That, that was messed up, yeah. They're, they're playing around with the enemy essentially I mean, i'm sure they did that but then germany, lucky saw yeah. lucky saw and multiple other people also saw like this isn't it's just not this yeah, isn't it's this not isn't right. a way to do this yeah yeah uh, and then lucky um, put him out of his misery so to speak 
also it's good that if we are following like different different people then it's they're going to be at different points in the battle yeah it's that's true be... it's not just going to be all set in one area yeah yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean interesting. um because obviously you've got the other two that are on they're on their way to tokyo but these guys are on this island yeah so we might whether their stories could you know meet at a crossroads although or... they was a bit messed up they've left them on this island they were kind of struggling for supplies well they probably oh, get yeah. supplies I mean... now but yeah i mean obviously it would have made sense to keep people on certain islands just to stop them from being recaptured i mean i'm true. not saying they would have stayed on true this but they, they looked rough <laughs> <laughs> they look like i don't want to be on this island anymore I've had coconut for two. I've had too much coconut. I can't stop pooping. Because <laughs> that's all we've had is coconut. I want to get off this damn island. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, it was a rough start. And you could see, you also saw just in the space of one episode, um, the difference that in in mentality or yeah. the psychological difference you had from Lecky when he left. Where he said, yeah. "I'm thinking about." We're thinking about taking his typewriter because he wants to fight yeah. by day and write by night. And then he came getting there, nothing happening. Essentially, walking for a bit. Then the troubles that they faced at night, and then the the when the the battle they had the battle ensued, and then when the other marines came, and you just saw he he looked a bit like he looked like he had suppose, muck on his face suppose, smoking a cigarette he had a wound he hadn't been taken care of yeah do you know what i mean i suppose that's 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 the, the part of being naive before war because it's like it's not a nine to five they're not going to clock out at five and be like we'll see you tomorrow mm. and it doesn't it doesn't work enough they'll they'll come at you at night they'll come at you in the day they'll you know if you're if you're alone then they'll just the enemy will just test you they, they don't want you to sleep yeah. you will be sleep deprived you know, so it is. It, it's an interesting way of looking at how naive some True. people were going True. into it. But then, of course, they would have never fought anything on that magnitude yeah. before, because they weren't around it. Like, they yeah. wouldn't have been. They would have been kids during. World Especially World. after the shock of Pearl Harbor happening as well at the same yeah. time yeah, uh, in, the, in your own home soil. Um, so obviously, Lecky is one of the three that we're following. Up. I wonder who the other two are. Um, but all in all, great episode. I can't wait to watch the second one. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Um, what did you think of our reaction to this episode and the episode itself? Uh, and if you have any info to give us on what happened in this episode, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments. Uh, but other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.